Today we're going to talk with Vic at All City Animal Trapping and uh, I wanted to talk about your animal removal services in Los Angeles. And uh, I guess the first place that I would, the first thing I would ask is, do you pick up uh, one's dead pet? We can, yeah, absolutely. And then also uh, a lot of times we'll get uh, carcasses in the street or on the sidewalk in the yard front yard backyard even if they're not yours so we definitely provide that service you come in and 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 uh, do that service regardless absolutely okay how can i remove animals from my attic so there's a few methods it, it depends uh, on what it is so if they're in your attic then it's uh, you know safe to assume it's it's going to be a rat raccoon possum those animals because they're great climbers um, and, and that's what they do. They get on your roof and they search. They basically forage at night for food and they have two jobs is to, to eat and to find shelter. And they're crawling all hours of the night everywhere. Eventually, if you have an opening in your home, they'll find it and they'll go in there. And, and if not, they can create one. And, you know, like raccoons, they have thumbs. So they grab things, screens and rip them right off and get right into your attic or even under the house, that, that sort of thing. So we can do trapping. We've removed them with a snare or by net or by hand on the spot. Um, and also we, we, we can use a, a pheromone treatment to scare them out as well. It's basically um, putting a pheromone of, uh, of a predator into that space. And out of fear, they leave on their own. Now, if they have babies, they'll take them with them as well. So. There's, there's a few different methods we can use to get them out of there. And sometimes I'm assuming they just uh, die in the attic if they can't get Absolutely. out of it. Yeah, ha happens a lot. Uh, or with, um, if, if someone hasn't been doing this a long time, they'll, they'll trap an animal in. You know, they, they catch an animal, they think that's the end of it. Because you might go in the attic and not see anything. You don't, you don't, you don't see footprints, you might not see... Um, any nesting materials or droppings, grease or uh, marks or hairs or anything and just think that there's nothing in there, seal it off. And then, you know, four days later, they'll call you back and say, Hey, we smell a dead animal, mm -hmm. you know, cause there's a lot of little nooks and crannies in an attic and there's plenty of places to hide. It's dark. So if you're going to seal it off, you, you know, you gotta be a hundred percent sure there's, there's nothing else in there. Gotcha. And, uh, uh, once I had gone uh, camping and uh, rented a house and in the, there, there was like this scratching noise coming from the ceiling. And uh, what, what could that have been? Uh, I mean, it could be a lot of things, but it, it'll most likely be those three, a possum, a raccoon, or a, a rat or mouse. Uh, it could be a squirrel too. Uh, so it depends. So if, if you hear them in the daytime, it's, it's probably going to be a squirrel. Uh, because they're active in the day. And if you hear them at night, it'll probably be those other three because they're pretty much nocturnal. Um, so yeah, it, it depends too, because uh, a lot of people hear the scratching and they describe it to us. And they say, man, it sounds like a human being was up there last night. You know? <laughs> and then we get up there and it's a, it's a mouse. <laughs> so wow. uh, it's, not, it's not always a large animal. And, you, know, you have to keep in mind if when it's three in the morning and there's no noise except for that noise in your ceiling. It, it sounds a lot louder than, than maybe it is. So it, it's uh, just one of those things, but it's, it's usually going to be one of those animals. But you can't avoid it because it's, the, the noise is there, especially at night when everything is quiet. Exactly. And something's running around up there. So, okay. So th this is uh, something that your company offers, animal removal services in Los Angeles area. Absolutely. Every and how can, how can people find you? Uh, on our website at uh, www.allcityanimaltrapping.com. Okay. We also have uh, Instagram, Facebook, and those sort of things too. Everything's on the website there. Yes, sir. All right. Well, thank you, Vic. Thank you.